Hello, in this video I'll show you all methods of taking a screenshot on your Pixel 10 Pro. Um, to begin, let's go with the first method, which is simply pressing on two buttons at once, power and volume down and that takes a screenshot in the easiest way you can see when I go into it I can click on it and edit it I can for example crop it but I can also draw on it for example select something I can do stuff later on I can either share it with a button in the top right corner to share it anywhere I can also click on the trash icon to delete it or save to save it right <laughs> uh, so this is the first method now another method is sort of hidden but I'll show you it to do it simply go to the settings now go to um, the system now go to gestures and find quick tap to start actions now you can enable this gesture and select what this gesture will do now you can select it to take a screenshot but you can also do some other things the video is about screenshotting so in order to do this action you will need to double tap on the back of your phone and that will take a screenshot so yeah like you need to get used to it because it's not the easiest way but it's not the easiest like when you do it for the first time but double tapping should should technically work yeah it's always like that okay I did like um, the double tap on the camera but no, it, should, it should work Hold on a second. I'll try it a few times because like I've been doing it on different phones and it's always in like different places. So just make sure and then I'll show you where to tap. Okay, so it works best if you double tap it around the Google logo and you need to be outside of that setting app. So, so it actually works. Well. <laughs> when I did it without the camera it really worked but this is something to get used to well maybe I'm too harsh on it yeah just as like not that strong tap I forgot that pixel like recognizes the strength of the tab and if it's too strong then it won't do it so to be just like pretty light yeah just like like that and then it works uh, but also you can require stronger taps and now for it to work you need to be a bit stronger but yeah so uh, it sometimes works you just need to get used to it um, and it will work for you uh, now let's get to something else so in the next uh, method it's gonna be go to settings then accessibility and now you can go to accessibility menu now you can enable it and it will show the shortcut right here if you don't like a shortcut you'd rather something else you can click here and set it to an accessibility gesture instead of shortcut uh, so that will require you instead of the accessibility button use an accessibility gesture which is swiping two fingers from the bottom of your screen like that and you can see it opens what the accessibility button would do also it's also volume keys when you press and hold both volume keys but it's basically the same as you would press and hold 
you know, the volume and the power. Uh, but yeah, now uh, in the accessibility menu, if we go to the right, we can see the screenshot and we can click on it to take a screenshot. Now, if you want to take it, uh, like if you want to customize this menu, you can actually go to, um, well, I don't know, like how do you customize it? Literally. Okay, turns out you cannot customize it. In the past, I remember it was customizable, but now it's not. So yeah, this is uh, the method of taking a screenshot. I will disable it because I don't really need it. And that will be about it. There's unfortunately no more options of screenshotting. Some phones let you, for example, slide down with three fingers and hold. This one doesn't. Also, some phones let you swipe with your whole palm across the screen to take a screenshot or add it to the quick menu right here. But you cannot add it here. So these were all the methods. And I hope that the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.